Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Ozzy Osbourne. It's another repeat live of the show. You get me on myspace.com slash O Z Z I E hype. Oh, you can have my partner Crumb, Ricky Indian at R C K Y Indian at myspace.com slash Ricky Indian. Um, big up to DD Trouble. Big up to um, Sergeant Duga Duga out of the Pure Lava Show. We on YouTube, of course. And I want to say big up to everybody that's on the outside that been hitting me up at the 718-954-2629 number, which is my personal cell phone number. I get calls throughout the whole world. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's negative or positive, I get you know, calls from all over the world. I want to big up um, somebody that I know in the business, because I know a few people, that's, a lot of people that's in the business, with, I mean, that's behind the scene. You know what I mean? So they always fill me with certain information and stuff like that. And certain information I can't really put out, like, right now, because sometimes I don't be ready to put it out. I don't feel like putting it out because it's not, I mean, you know, like, like it's, it, I don't know whether it's true or not. So I try not to go that route, you know what I mean, to rumors. I, don't, I really don't like going into that. But I thought this was interesting, you know what I'm saying? It's a situation with Jay-Z um, and, and what he's planning to do. So I figure I want to big up this lawyer that I know personally, you know what I'm saying? He's behind the scenes in a lot of different uh, ventures in the inter entertainment business. But it was an email that was sent to uh, someone and um, he sent it to me. So I'm going to read it to you. You know what I'm saying? So just to share, because that's how I do, man. People love us, man. Ozzy Oz is here, man. All right, this is what it says. Okay, I'm not going to say the name, but it goes, yo, blank. You know last week, at least here in New York, you heard a rumor that um, Jay-Z and Beyonce are getting married. Just recently, on top of that, not, it now looks like um, Jay-Z and Beyonce may be having another partnership deal in the works. I just recently learned from a source that I can't reveal that Jay will announce he's leaving his position at Def Jam to create a new super label with Beyonce. A key person involved in creating a new label is, and according to that insider, that the new label will launch early next year. Guess what, Blank? It's a done deal. Jay and Beyonce and um, Matthew Knowles, which is um, Beyonce's father, are on board. She'll be finishing up her contract with Sony, and I expect that she'll sign on the new label shortly afterwards. Let this be the first place you heard it. Okay, according to his email, you know. Beyonce is scheduled to complete her final album under a deal with Sony this fall. The final three albums of the deal, B-Day, released September 5th, 2006, which we all know. B-Day Deluxe, released April 5th, which just passed and a live album to be released l later this year, which is, you know, going to be like her next album she's going to release later this year within 2007, where have all been released within a year of each other. Now, I will admit, it's not clear yet which major label will house the new super label. I don't think it's going to be Island Def Jam. From how I got the message, Jay-Z bought the idea to Def, to Def Jam first. But they thought it was, but they thought he was asking too much money. Now let me explain something to you. It was a rumor that when it came out on Hot 97 in New York City, that and and, and over um, the you know certain programs, I think Wendy Williams on WBLS, that Jay Z was asking for more money, and there was a possibility that he might be leaving. But the thing about it is, was that they um, Jay Z had um, and LAV they made a statement regarding that, and it's like no. Jay-Z not leaving the label, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that he wanted more money or anything, you know, that's why, you know, it's rumors about he leaving the label. That wasn't the problem. The problem now, according to this, is the problem is that, yeah, Jay-Z asked for more money, but it was for his new super label. Notice I notice what they say in the super label, you know what I'm saying? So that's why he, that, that rumor came about, but it just said that rumor was wrong. The rumor was... He did ask for more money, but it was for this. The super label that he had, him and um, Beyonce is planning to um, start. Big move. All right, so let me finish up here. Um, so this is when um, Jay started shopping the deal around to other uh, majors. And out of all, out of all of, out of all, everybody, even to Apple, see, it wasn't even written right. Well, um, out of everybody, even to Apple, the creator of iTunes, they are very interested in doing business with them, with this new super label. Ooh, big. But Def Jam may live to regret not dealing with Jay. And let me tell you why. Some of Def Jam's hottest acts may go with Jay to the new super label. Now listen to this part. Jay-Z has a clause in Def Jam contract that says he can buy the rights to any artist 
he signed. That would include Rihanna, Neo, and Nas. He has the right. It's built into his contract. So if he goes over to the super label, if he goes to the super label, he has the right, the right to buy their contracts. All right? And the prospect of a new in in the prospect of a new Jay-Z and Beyonce Super Label has people all that Def Jam terrified. Believe me, blank, I'm not gonna say the person's name. These white boys are paranoid. And here and, and, and they are shaking in their boots over the rumor. So blank, my question to you becomes what do you think will happen to this company if Jay-Z left and took Neil and Rihanna with him. So my question go out to um, you. What do you think will happen? And that question goes out to all hiphop.com. What do you think will happen if Jay-Z took all the artists and bombed out? Rihanna, Nas, you know what I'm saying? Neo, you know what I mean? You're already going to take uh, uh, Kanye West. You know that. I guess that's why we call it the super label. Then it's going to be Jay-Z and Beyonce. Anyway, so I just felt like I could share that with y'all, and that concludes the P. Lava Show. You know how I do, man. I see how I comment on any and everything, you know what I'm saying? If I get information, I'll share it with you. It don't even matter, you know what I mean? Catch me in New York, Brooklyn, Brooklyn style, you know what I mean? So big up to everybody. You catch me at a show near you. I host a lot of parties because I get hype. Woo! Yo, my biggest dream, I got to do host a show with like 100,000 people or something, like or some big artists. I ain't even get to that yet, but I do host certain parts. Artists like, you know, I hosted Sean Paul and did uh, hosted parties with Funkmaster Flex from 97 and Mr. C and, you know, certain certain artists, um, Spraga Benz and, you know, reggae artists, you know. But anyway, that's what it is. It's your boy Ozzy Oz. Hit me up 718-954-2629. That concludes the Pure Lava Show. And I'm out.